We're looking in the Psalms uh, 103 this morning. As we go there, I know this is a an old truth. It's one that is familiar, but I think it's important to be reminded of every once in a while. So you get there, Psalm 103, I'm going to start in verse 8, go down through verse 12. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the earth is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. It's an amazing thing to know that we have been forgiven for our sins. Amen. But it's something we take for granted a lot, I think. And a verse that really stands out to me in this passage is verse 10. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. We haven't received what we deserved. That's right. That's right. Any of us who are here on a Sunday morning, we have not got what we deserved. If you think on Romans 6, 23 comes to mind, for the wages of sin is death. The Bible also says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Therefore, all have earned that wage of death. That's right. yep. Wages being what we earn for ourselves. It's what we deserve to receive. When you work a full week, you expect to receive your reward at the end of the week. Yeah. It, you deserve it. Yeah. The same for each sin deserves death. When Adam sinned in the garden, God said you will surely die. Yeah. Only by his mercy right. was that not, did that not play out as was not the case. God had every reason to start over, yeah. to make a new garden and start with a new human experiment, but he didn't. Out of unparalleled mercy, he chose to work with man because he loved them so much. It's, it's such a, a, a powerful idea that we haven't gotten what we deserved. I think in life we take things for granted so much. We might complain about the, the comfort of our chair, that it's not quite supporting our back enough, or like our coffee doesn't taste so good. But we think to ourselves that in our sin, and outside of Jesus Christ, we deserve to go to hell, but we think that we deserve death, and yet on a Sunday morning, we get to sit in church and sing songs of praise, and Amen. Amen. we get to drink our morning coffee, and we get to sit on a chair that maybe it isn't so comfortable, but it's a chair, <laughs> and we're still here, we're still breathing, our lives have a purpose. It's powerful. Yeah. You know, and we've earned that wage for ourselves. but there's a back half of that verse, too. It says the, the gift of God, something freely given by him, something we could never earn for ourselves and we were never That's expected right. to, right. is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So instead of dealing with us as he should have, as would have been just, God took what we did and everything we deserved and he gave it to Jesus on our behalf. I think that's something that everyone, although we've all heard it, if I heard it again and again, in a gospel preaching church, you'd expect to hear it again and again. We still need to be reminded of it yeah, right. all the time and never stop thanking God for it. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. Amen.